Hello, this is Distracted Lord, and welcome back to SnowRunner. And I am still in Zimnogorsk, but I have have a bunch of things in my garage because, well, I've been trying to get some achievements because you know I like achievements, and now I have. If we go to the achievements, um, almost all of them. In fact, there is three I don't have, which is the one for completing every task and contest, the one for completing every contract, and the stupid one for using a crane to raise special objectives during training, or at least five means above the ground, which I kind of can't do yet because I've done all of the tasks which had special objective semi trailers and you can't buy them anywhere so I have to wait until I get some of the DLC maps to find another one. Bit annoying, that's the only one that I sort of didn't do as I was playing through. But the ones I have done does include own every American vehicle, own every Russian vehicle and own every vehicle because you see I splashed some cash and now I only have 124,000 because I went and got every vehicle. Uh, the interesting thing about this is you don't have to own every vehicle at once because if I go to, uh, actually I think I can see it through here, yeah. if I go to my truck here, I do have a good number, but like, there's these two curlops here which I don't have, and uh, somewhere else there's some other stuff, like the P12 I sold because I hated it, there's a couple of like, cat American dairy longhorn Ford thing highway trucks, yeah, I sold some of them because they were bad, but I have, at some point, owned all of them, which is now I've got the achievement. But I did keep quite a good number of them, and most of them are currently sitting here in this garage. So we have the Azor 5319, big heavy duty thing. We have the Voron Grad, which is quite a useful big truck. We have the International Paystar 5070, which has quite a good bit of ride height. The front's quite high, doesn't really hit itself on rocks. Quite good off-road, although it's quite tall. We have the Voron D53233. Again, it's just another big off-road truck. Surprise, surprise, a game with about big off-road trucks. There's lots of big off-road trucks. We have the Ang Mark 38 civilian version, which, unlike the military one, comes with four frame attachments as opposed to one. You can have the van, fuel tank, and two saddles. Then we have the Azov 64131, which is just a big truck. Looks like a standard European truck, except that it's um, not. It's quite a big off-road truck. We also have somewhere, where is it? I have my Voron A4380, which is, um, again, more truck uh, than everything else uh, you've seen before. Oh, other than the Yar 87. Yeah, six wheels. I have a couple of things out in the world as well. We have the Azov 73210, the Freightliner 114SD and the Dawn 71 sitting around in the world, which we're going to be using for what I'm doing today. Now, what are we doing today? Well, it's not its not any task, it's not any contest, and it's not contracts, and it's not exploration, because I've done all that before and I want to do something a bit different. And so today we're doing something that isn't a task at all, because it's something that's going to help me play the game. I mean, I've done most of the actual tasks and a few contests left, but I do have a number of contracts left, and to make these easier, I want to fix something that is broken about this map. There is a nice road that comes down from here, goes down here, to the sort of actual area with all the useful stuff. The only problem is, this bridge over here, with my Don is parked, it is broken, and there is no task to fix it. And your alternatives for getting round are driving all the way down this narrow, muddy path around here, or trying to get through the mud, like coming down here, through this mud, and then along there. And that's quite narrow and quite uh, cambered. Neither of these paths are very good, so I'm going to attempt to fix the bridge, and I know it's been done before, and I know how I'm going to try and do it, I just don't know how successful I'm going to be. So I'm just going to hop over into this Don, and we're going to experience the wonders of the world not loading. Uh, but this is the bridge. I'm going to go into photo mode so you can actually see it properly because it's kind of difficult to see from down there. But yeah, there's some girders sticking across here all around. It's supposed to be holding the bridge, and as you can see, it's fallen in. And this is not ideal. 
because I can't drive across it. There's also these nice concrete things here, they're not that whole. I have a solution for this, but this is quite a gap. What am I going to do about getting across this gap? Well, there is a solution, and this solution does not involve this little don that is parked down here, it is absolutely going to get squished by me dropping something at some point. It involves, uh, what's happening over here? Nope. Yep, this one. We have a big trailer. Because, you see, this big trailer is going to be very useful, because I can use this trailer to bridge the gap. I can put this trailer and hope that I don't mess it up and drop it into the gap. So I just need to drive this down there, and then get another one, because it's quite a wide gap that I'm actually bridging. Well, I might start off with one, because it is quite a wide trailer. None of my vehicles are wider than this trailer, I don't think. So as long as I'm careful of going across it, I should be able to do it with one. I'm just going to turn some lights on, because it's so dark. What am I stuck in? Ah yes, I forgot, I'm towing the world's most stupidly long trailer. But I've got the trailer down to the bridge. But we're going to have to find a way of getting it across, which is going to be far more difficult. Because what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to detach the trailer from this. I'm going to have to find a way to move the trailer closer to it, and I'm going to have to find a way to get a crane around to the other side, and then drag it more, and drag it across. Might even need to get a crane down there to move it across, because it doesn't have a good winch point, it's far too heavy to be picked up. This is going to be more complicated than I thought. Oh, after lots of difficult movements, I managed to get a trailer in place. Uh, it's taken me uh, quite a while, and I now have a crane up there, a crane over there, and a crane up there. I have the Don here, and I have the Tatarin over there, because the Tatarin has such ridiculous amounts of torque, it can just pull the trailer around incredibly easily, which is kind of funny when these cranes are having difficulty, but although I have it in the position that I originally wanted it in, turns out it doesn't quite fit as well as I thought, and I can't get a good view because none of the cameras are in the right place really. Yeah, you can see from here, it's not quite as long as I thought it was, which means we're going to need um, another trailer to bridge the rest of the gap. I won't use one that's quite this big though, however if I... I can't quite reach the swap over there. I have to swap via something else to get over the dam. That is because there's a little gap at this side, which a big truck shouldn't have trouble with, although I might just, just shove some concrete slabs in there. Yeah, I can just slap a concrete slab and then I'll be fine. Yes, use the resources that you're definitely supposed to build with. I do have a lot of logs that I collected, which I can use to sort of put along the bottoms of like this bit here, make it not as big a bump so that I don't break the fuel tanks as I drive over it. It turns out that one trailer is not actually all that wide. Like, uh, I have some trucks over the other side, and I sort of got one across a bit. It doesn't really get onto the ramp flatbed trailer very well. You just try and sort out that. Uh, but I think it'll be a lot easier to do that if I can actually fit something on the bridge, which is currently rather difficult, because even my narrower vehicles just fit and so it's kind of awkward to get them on and to not fall off. So I'm going to have to go get another really big trailer to go and stick it here, and I'm kind of running out of space to park my trucks to the other side. I can't really move the dam further up here, it just won't go. But I need to so I can fit the other ones in there so I can get a super heavy trailer in here. So this is just a whole stupid mess now because I've got so many trucks around here. I've got like four crane trucks, two scouts, and a fuel carrier just sitting around, because I need the cranes in all of the different positions to get to it from all the angles. So I'm going to do some shuffling around and try and fit another trailer in here. Uh, I know it fits, it's definitely wide enough, I just have to get it here. So it's the next day in real life, we all have to know to make with much progress. But we do have a sort of functioning bridge. You can drive on it, but it's a bit awkward to get on at this end. It's very, very awkward in the middle here, and this is not great because he's move around a bit. And I'm not entirely sure what to do about all this, but one thing I can try and do is get some long logs and shove them down this gap here, which should like hopefully wedge these trailers in place. I keep thinking, ah, oh, it's nearly done, and then it's not. 
so I've been spent the rest of an entire day. I think I now have a functioning bridge. We have the two traders here, and an extra concrete block here, or some extra support as you go onto the bridge. You have to make sure that you get one wheel on either side of this gap, or both on one side, because your wheel will fall in there and then not come out again. And you come over this bit, and uh, this bit's a little bit sketchy, you just have to drive and hope. And then you're onto these, they're sort of fairly stable now. I did put in various logs and many of them fell straight out the bottom and that's why there's quite a few logs lying around underneath the bridge. We're just not going to talk about that. Uh, and then you can through here, down this, and this end is definitely the most sketchy part of it because the ramps on the back of these trailers just sometimes don't bother with physics. Like, I think if I might better demonstrate. Depends how the game's feeling. But if I... Oh, well, they're actually working. Apart from the fact that my wheel's not in the right place. But sometimes the, uh, the ramps on the trailers don't bother doing physics and you just phase through it with your wheel. And that's not very helpful. I promise the ramp's quite thin, so I have to just try a few times and try and line it up. Yes, yeah, so my wheels sort of phasing through it a bit. That's what these logs here are for. They sort of allow me to get some of the way up without trying to be on the ramps. Because, well, they have better physics. I'm just trying to avoid my wheels falling in the gap. But my wheels falling in the gap. Then you just have to use some power and hope. And it looks like I'm going to be going back across on this one side of the bridge because my wheels are in the wrong place. Oh well, it works. So we do have a bridge that functions badly. I can drive things across. Why did it do that? It's fine. It went back to where it was before and I crashed into my other truck. Why did they park me so close together? There we go. Nice demonstration of my very definitely functioning bridge. Everything is wonky uh, with this bridge. You have to drive very slowly and carefully along it. It's not good quality construction, but hopefully it will make it a bit easier to transport heavy things from the top of the map down to the bottom of the map. And uh, yeah, no, the map says there's some there's some stuff here. The map's like. Yeah, yeah, loads of long logs. But now I can take my trucks home. Would I recommend doing this? Not sure yet. I think we'll see whether I actually end up saving time. I somehow doubt I will. It's going to save me like 15 minutes every time that I use it. I'm probably going to use it like 10 times. Yeah, no, that's that's two and a half hours. I've spent a lot more than two and a half hours making this bridge. It's probably somewhere in the region of five or six. And what have I got to show for it? A terrible bridge that barely functions. And that is going to be it for this video. So thank you for watching. Don't get distracted. Go subscribe now. And until next time, goodbye.